Reino Unido, um, con Mark Briggs. Okay, so I'll start the presentation now, and I've got some notes, so I'm just going to read them. Um, not too long. Um, so I'm going to talk about trans transmission gallery, uh, specifically transmission as a model for collective action. Uh, I'm going to outline two projects um, that in some way will help explain how the objectives and sort of core values of the structural organization of the gallery directly influences the program that we have. Um, transmission is now in its 28th year and actually I just have to stop this. Um, yeah, this is just a, a summer party we have every year for our members. Um, at the end, we, we close in August and when our program comes from the end of July, we put on a party. Um, all the committee members, the six of us, we buy lots of food, we make a barbecue, we invite all the members to come along and we put on DJs and bands and, and have lots of drinks. So I didn't really explain that. So that's not transmission, that's a cricket club in the south of Glasgow. Um, I'm not going to explain cricket to you. Okay. Um, so uh, transmission success, if measured on its sustainability, uh, I suppose it's been achieved by creating, creating a mutual exchange between the organization, transmission, and its constitute members. The, uh, through the collective ambition of both the committee, transmission, and its members, and transmission has sought to broaden our reach, the reach of its discourse, to involve other international artists and sympathetic organizations. Um, so, it's a sort of investment with an international creative community as well as our local community um, and trying to bring these two communities together for the benefits of all of us. So, transmission can simply be viewed as a platform where both knowledge and information can be shared freely and shared uh, in collaboration that we openly and actively support. Uh, transmis trans uh, I can't say transmission so many times. Uh, facilitates a forum that allows for divergent practices and voices to come together where ideas can be shared in a dialogue of exchange. Um, we on the committee, um, as we only do a two year, we're only allowed to do two years on the, on the committee of running the gallery. Um, so, so Transmission is then sort of a self-reflexive organization that sees itself as a project of exploration and examination. Um, and then recently, in this process of exploration and examination, uh, so certain questions have been raised quite regularly, um, which are probably likely concerns for all the sort of other artist-led organizations that are taking part over the yesterday, today, and the next few days. Some of these is what trans, uh, when we consider transmission's role as a model for collective action, um, we then have to think what might that mean for the organization and, and its membership. And more specifically, what does that mean within a wider social, economical, and political debate? How do we best address our own concerns and facilitate that action. In what form should that action take? And what is best, the best method to engage our membership and our community, our artistic community? And then in turn, how can we distribute the wider international creative practices that we come across and their ideas back to our local community of Glasgow? Um, so I'm gonna discuss two projects that um, we have facilitated, um, which demonstrate this pro process of creating a debate and facilitating, facilitating some sort of cultural exchange through the process of collaboration. So um, what you're seeing now is uh, the end of a residency we did with an artist, Stefan Dilmuth. Um, Stefan, uh, the work he produced uh, stemmed from his time, well, he still is a professor of the Academy of Fine Arts in Munich, and he made a video on his residency. Uh, it's, a, it's from a lecture 
and the transcript of the lecture uh, examines the privatization of the public sphere and its implication within the realms of art, research and education. Here, the lecture was called The Academy and the Corporate Public. Um, he says it propagates self-organization and bohemian research as resistant tactics for artists, teachers and students. Um, the text is dramatized as an exchange between an artist and a prisoner, both paid, played out by the artist Stefan Dilmouth, um, which was filmed in the, the images you're seeing now. Um, so he turned it into uh, uh, an artist studio, a prison, a stable for a goat, a live goat, which was in the film. And it's also the basement of an artist-run gallery, Transmission. Uh, so the work uh, simultaneously, simultaneously demonstrates and investigates the politics of producing artwork in relationship to modes of research and models for learning. And then creating this film within the context of transmission, a gallery founded and sustained through self-organization um, sort of lends another dimension to the conversation within the work. Um, um, you can view the film on Stefan's website. Um, the, the website is called Society of Control. Um, and you can download it and share it. I'm just going to read a quick extract from the, the beginning of his lecture. I, that is not me, Stefan Dilmuth, want to talk about institutional research and its relationship to self-organization and Bohemia as part of my research project, which I started in 1999 at in Bergen, a research project that tries to look into the relationship between the academy and its discourses in the fine arts and the public sphere that is in the middle of a big shift induced by a corporate world economy. This shift seems to go hand in glove with a different function for art and a different conception of the role of the artist and last but not least, a different quality of education and research. So he asked the question, what is our role here? Will we try and adopt to the scenario as we see it unrolling before us? Or, we, or will we try and resist and change it to our needs? Okay. So um, from Stefan's project uh, leads us on to uh, an ongoing research project uh, that took place um, last summer in 2011, and we imaginatively named it Summer School. Um, it was a week-long free school. The committee, that is Transmission, invited artists and organizations involved in alternative educational models, self-organized academic structures, um, to visit Glasgow and take part. Um, these groups and individuals each gave a so short presentation or demonstration of their activities and working methods. Um, the event was made up of lectures, discussions, practical workshops, excursions, screenings, and bands, gigs. All the events were free and open to everyone. Uh, the committee strove to create an active and responsive environment, providing the resources and organizational support necessary for the participants to share and create the syllabus they were involved in. Um, we were trying to be flexible, um, allowing a lot of time within the, the projects, the workshops, so that a debate, uh, information, just knowledge could be shared um, at any given time. Um, we also asked our membership uh, to submit proposals for what sort of workshops they could learn from or what would be valuable for them. Um, and the ones that we could, could facilitate were um, demonstrations of home recording, uh, screen printing, uh, a seminar on the web application Indexibit. I don't know if any of you know Indexibit, yeah. Um, and a 16 millimeter, millimeter uh, film workshop. And so in a sense, all this sort of knowledge was passed on by um, 
um, people who had that experience and expertise could then be shared um, so people could then use this information to then pass on or to disseminate information either visually through the internet uh, or for any other means. Um, so the, the project as a whole, its aims were to provide uh, free access to expertise and information as requested by our membership, our community, um, encourage collaboration, exchange and cooperation between artists and activities working. So we're, like, we're trying to work towards a similar goal. And to do that, we don't care how we do it. There could be very, very many different models and diverse means to get to where we want to go. Okay. And just to basically open a discussion of the issues that are facing education in the, <clears throat> in the current uh, political and economic climate that we're all facing. Um, so I'm just going to conclude now. Um, so this is just a fragment of what Transmission does. Um, we obviously have a more traditional artist program of exhibitions. Um, but I hope that these, these two projects I have discussed sort of outline, outline the working methods and a certain ideology that the gallery has always, sh that always had, a sort of a so social, collective, and sometimes a political objectives. Um, yeah, I, I could talk a lot more, um, but I won't. Um, I'll allow you to have some drinks, and which I will share with you. And if you want to talk to me or anyone else who's spoken tonight, feel free, and thank you.